All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I solder <coughs> wire to a capacitor for adding to the flight controller. Cut the leads short. Uh, a couple, I don't know, a couple millimeters. If you have room, you can leave them a little longer, but it ain't going to help none, so... Cut them short. These are the, uh, and you gotta tin them. Hold on, gotta get something to hold it. Right, little piece of double sided tape. Do the trick. Using some really thin soldering wire because the little leads on here are really tiny. I don't want a bunch of solder all over the place. Now the easiest way I have found to do this is to hold the wire with a pair of, with your helping hands, alligator clip on the stand. Tin the iron. Put the, oops, that's the positive. I mean, that was the negative. Put the wire on the inside of the pin so it has no chance of touching the case, and then just melt the two together. And my stupid solder stuck to my iron. But you get the idea, just like that. You want that as close to the base of the pin as possible. I've been able to get a little bit closer than that. Yeah. If you leave too much of this pin, then it just increases the resistance, which is no good. So you want the wire right up against the base. And use a good uh, thick wire. I'm using what is this? I'm using 18 gauge. But you can you can go 16 if you want. This is actually a piece of motor wire. I'm just gonna reuse it. I'm gonna retin it because. I don't know where they get this uh, solder they put on the ends of. Let's try to do this one better. Should probably put a little bit of solder on the iron. blended together very well and it didn't all right cut don't try to reuse the the solder from the manufacturer that stuff is lead free or something it's crap just cut that off start with a fresh First piece of soldered wire. Let's try this again. Put the wire underneath. A lot of trouble with the the trouble with the crown. Does not want to. Yeah, it doesn't look very good at all. Let's try this one more time. I 
Last chance. Yeah, it looks pretty good. My positive looks a little scraggly. Still not perfect. Anyway, you get the idea. Right up against the right up against the base of it. And then you want to put some meat shrink over that. And you just remote mount that to the battery pads. Don't just stick the capacitor out on the outside of the frame if you can. If you can put it inside somewhere, put it inside because uh, these little pins, they they're only going to bend a couple of times and then they're just going to break off. I've already had one break off from a crash that I had uh, sitting out on the arm because I couldn't fit it inside. But if you can fit it inside, put it inside. That's it, real short, sweet. This is the best way I found to attach the wires. Go on the inside of the pin so it's no chance of uh, your soldered wire touching the case. You obviously don't want that on the positive wire. At a capacitor. It can't hurt. It can only help. It may make your motors actually sound smoother. Even if you don't have any twitch issues.